Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install MySQL latest version that is 8.0.38 on Windows 10 or 11 operating system. So first go to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Then click on downloads, then scroll down, then click on MySQL community downloads. See here, we have the MySQL community server and MySQL installer for Windows. So click on MySQL installer for Windows. See, select the versions 8.0.38 and select the operating system as Microsoft Windows. Okay. See here we have the two versions MySQL installer community MSI file and MySQL installer community 8.0.38. So we have to download this one. So click on this download and its size is 303 megabytes. Click on this download, then click on no thanks. Just to start my download. See here, download has been started. Go to downloads. So, download history. See, its size is 304 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download is completed. Now, click on this MySQL installer community. MSFL. Click on it. See here, we have the options like Server only, client only, are full and custom. So, if you select server only, it will install only MySQL server. If you select this one, it will install only client tool. If you select full, see, it is going to install MySQL server, MySQL shell, MySQL router, and MySQL workbench. Okay. So, if you select full, no need to install these remaining tools separately. So, select full or select custom, then select next. See here, we can select the applications. See, like workbench. See, suppose if you want to install this MySQL server only, you have to select it and click on right arrow. Then MySQL workbench. Select the MySQL workbench and click on right arrow. So, it will install all, only these tools. But if you go back, if you select full, it will install all the tools. So, click on next. See, it is going to download the these components like samples and examples also okay so click on execute wait download is in progress see download is completed click on next see now all components are ready to install so click on execute See, installation is completed. Click on next. Now, we are going to configure MySQL server, router and samples and examples. So, click on next. See, connectivity and this is the port number that, that is 3306 and this is the pipe name. If you want to change, you have to click on here and change. But I am not going to change. Click on next. Next authentication method. Use the strong password encryption authentication or use the legacy authentication method. Okay, so I am going with the first one that is the recommended one. So click on next. Now provide the password for root account. Then create a user account. So click on add user. This is the non admin account. Provide the name. I am giving account name or username as at the schools. Then select the role. See here we have the different roles. User admin, security admin. So I am going with DB admin. It has the all the permissions to perform the MySQL tasks. So provide the password. Then click on OK. See, one user is created. You have to remember this root account password also for this one also. Click on next. See, this is the service name in the services application. And run Windows services custom user or Windows standard system account. I am going with standard system account. Then click on next. Grant privileges. Yes. Select the first one and click on next. Now apply the configurations. So 
If you are okay with all the settings, then just click on execute. If you want to see the logs, you have to click on here. See, now it is starting server. See, all done. The configuration of MySQL server 8.0.38 also was successful. So, click on finish to continue. Now, next product configuration and now router configuration. So, until now we have performed MySQL server configuration. Click on next. Next, finish. Configuration not needed. Okay. So, my next samples and examples. Then provide the password of the root account. Then click on check for the connection. It is success. Next, click on next. Execute. Click on finish. Click on next. See installation complete. The installation procedure has been completed. If you want to copy the log to keyboard, you have to click on here. See, if you want to start the MySQL workbench after setup, you have to keep this checkbox. Also, if you want to open the MySQL shell, you have to keep these two checkboxes as it is. I don't want at this moment. So, uncheck them and click on finish. We have successfully installed MySQL on Windows operating system, Windows 10 or 11 operating system. Now, go to start programs, MySQL, you may have, you have the MySQL folder. See. Here we have the MySQL folder. See here we have the MySQL command line client, MySQL command line client Unicode, installer, MySQL shell and MySQL workbench. Open MySQL workbench. See this is the MySQL workbench. To connect to MySQL server click on this or click on connect to database or database then connect to database. Both are same. So click on plus button. Here provide the name for the connection. I am giving name as MySQL 8038. Then host name, see MySQL installed on this machine. If it is a remote host, you have to give the remote host IP or full name. Full name of the host. And port, port number 3306 root. Username is root. Now we have to provide the password by clicking on store in password. Vault. So, provide the password that we have set at the time of installation. Click on OK. Now, click on Test Connection. Successfully made the MySQL connection. Click on OK. Click on OK. Now, click on this connection. See, we have successfully created. See, circular and world are the sample databases. To create new database, right click on here. Create schema. Okay, let me create a schema. Schema is nothing but database. So click on apply. Click on apply. Finish. See, we have the new database. So if you want to stop, start or restart the MySQL service, go to Windows Run, then services.msc. Select any service and press M. See here we have the MySQL 80. 80 means this, see, this is the service. See, its a status is running. If you want to stop, right click and click on the restart. If you want to stop, select the stop. Or just select the service name here. And see here, we have the three options. Stop, pause, restart. Also, we have the three buttons like stop, pause the service and restart the service. Okay. So, I am not going to stop. Just I want to show you the how to stop, start and restart. Okay. If you want to create tables in this new database use r schools select all execute it so if you create table if you want to create table just give create table r schools student snm int primary key s name where is up to you select the text and click on execute see it has created a table if you see we are unable to find but if you right click and refresh expand it see we have the one table again or if you want to create table right click on the tables then select the create table here we have to provide the name of the table then we have to provide the columns okay don't save 
you want to insert data into this table, enter, insert into, before that I fed the data, select star from student, select it, run it, see we don't have any data, okay, so insert some data, the same, paste here, paste here, now replace the values, see I have mentioned these in single quotes because we have the column with the data type as varchar, so varchar values must be specified in single or double quotes, see first two will run without any error, so select them and execute, see two are successfully run, but if you run this one, it will throw error. So I will show you. See, duplicate key entry because this column we defined as primary key. So we have to give the unique values. So select it, unique integer values. Select it and run it. Now it will it won't throw error. See, we have success. Now verify the data. See here, this is a command to check the data. See, we have the three rows. And one more I want to show you. We have created a user, so click on new connection, then instead of root, give the new user, that is R2 schools, then click on the store in password, then provide the password of this user, click on OK, click on text connection, connection is success, click on OK, OK, I forgot to give the name, MySQL with the user name, click on text connection, Connection success. Now click on OK. Click on this connection. See, we have successfully connected. This is the connection with root, and this is the connection with art schools username. Also, I want to show you one more thing. See here, we have the two tabs like schema. Schema means it, it will show only databases related information, but administration it will show like server status client connections, users and privileges, if we click on users and privileges, see here we have the auto schools and root, auto schools is the user which we have created and remaining are the default accounts comes with MySQL installation, okay, close this one, here also we can create user by clicking on add account, so in this video we have seen how to download and install MySQL 8.0.38 on Windows 10 or 11 operating system, for more MySQL videos please subscribe my channel, thank you.